Right, hello again YouTube, welcome back to more From the Depths. Sorry it's been a while since I've really recorded. Um, I have been, as you guys knew in the last one, quite ill with a sore throat, but I am about ready, uh, about, just about better now, so I wanted to start with a little bit of a showcase, because uh, a few of the guys on the Discord had to go, uh, <coughs> I think it was Amfreak specifically, had to go, uh, Amfreak? Hang on, I better get this right. Uh, Amfreak, yeah, had to go improving the Rosalie tank. Because uh, I'd asked obviously about uh, shells and things, and he seems to have done a good job of it. Although I know it's just a lot larger than the uh, the Mark One. I guess he's built rebuilt the armor scheme a bit. Stone on that. Yeah, yeah, he's done a fair bit of work on it. He's got some extra slopes of armor here. He's got oh, some launches here as well. Cracky. Some little extra interceptors there, as well as <coughs> oh, pardon me, rebuild the turret. Uh, completely rebuilt gun turret with a higher rate of fire. Uh, where is the shells on this thing? What I want to do is potentially steal the shell. Um, shape charge, secondary heat, Sabo warhead, and Sabo head. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I do love it, but I like to try and stick to my own designs mostly for the campaign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm very happy with this. Should mention, but what I'm going to do is just steal the shell. Use it on our own version. Although I would be interested to know what he's done with the turret internals. Bit more ammo in as he just stacked these vertically. So he's done some vertical stacking to put some uh, EMP in. EMP shield again. Right, so the shell was a. was a Sabo head, Sabo body, and then a secondary heat shell. I think the rest was just gunpowder. <laughs> Presumably to get the most out of that Sabre head. So, 250. Uh, oh, does the barrel that need to be longer? That should be okay. As a... Armor pierce of 48. Very nice. Good damage. And then... Yeah, the heat should be pretty good. So now we need to do... The clip so it can reload. We'll save it because again, the shell was the thing I asked for a uh, improved version of. Don't get me wrong, we may end up using the uh, entirely improved tank, but as I said, I mostly like try to stick to my own uh, designs, at least for this campaign. I'll use the odd thing like components, but. but yes, I'm hoping to finish up uh, S of the Empire quite soon. Kerbal 2 should be out tomorrow. As a day of recording, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I don't know how much of a series we'll be able to do because it sounds like it's um, it very much is early access, but uh, we'll see. Oh yeah, how's the rate of fire as well? Let's see oh shoot, we need to clip both clips. Eleven point two. Hey, we got a higher fire rate. Maybe we've got to wait for it to load, of course. Oh, I guess we bumped it. Oh, what's the limiting factor then? Hang on. Oh, auto load limit, okay. So I'll save that. I think we're ready <coughs> to start going back to the campaign and start actually building some of these. Now, where we're at for the campaign, for those who don't remember, we have pushed hard against the Twig Guard and Steel Empire. We have been sort of forced back a bit. Uh, so what we're doing now is we're switching to a bit more defensive. We're going to try and do some capture warfare and try and just, like, take some of their territory. Receiving. I think that's the big guy. Is that the repair fleet? What I might even do is scrap the Suzaku for the resources. Receiving. Let these guys yes. salvage it. Yes. <coughs> On my way. Yes. Let's get you two down to here. On my way. 
We're gonna have to switch again. We're gonna have to switch to the defensive and try and capture some stuff. The radar balloon on its own out there probably Moving needs out. to get back because that's Moving probably out. gonna be lost at this rate. Now, what do we have here that's still working? Ah, yes, it's the Omnitaurus, which will probably scrap. So, I'm, yes. so I mentioned scrapping yes. it for resources. I think they're probably right, honestly. Uh, yeah, so I guess the idea was they were moving down there to repair those guys. <coughs> so we'll let them capture that and then we'll move them up. Right. Where is our home base? I can never remember where it is on this one. It's less clear. I think it's here, right? Yes. Yeah. Ah, we don't have any, as many resources yeah. here as I'd hoped. Because they're all tied up at other bases. Loads there. Yeah. Yeah, looks like at the moment we're waiting on resupply, basically. That one's going over there to build a new thing. <coughs> oh dear, pardon me. Right. I think we time accelerate until the... The combined fleet and the repair fleet get to where they were going. Listening. Right, Moving out. You might want to evade Moving that uh, scorn swarm. I guess they can move to here as long as they're... Moving out. It's not ideal to leave them too exposed, but as long as they're not under attack actively, they're probably okay. Combined fleet should be able to take on those scorns. Yes. Do any of these vehicles need updating? I don't think the Vivians will, but I think the, um, the Chris's maybe do. Ah, there aren't any. It's Mamakas yes. and Vivians. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we'll focus on the Steel Empire first. Listening. Moving out. Moving out. <coughs> we'll probably have to just focus on destroying one target first. Moving out. Moving out. Let's squash them, then we can focus on the uh, the robots. Bunch of stuff moving in there. That's not good. Uh, let's have them come rendezvous with the others. Yes. On my way. Yes. On my way. Right, let's scrap that on the Taurus right there. I think we we figured out basically. Yes. Yeah, we can't we can't repair it. On my way. Listening. Moving out. <clears throat> We're gonna need all the numbers we can get for that particular fight coming up. Yes. You guys moving? On my way. Oh, so you yes. can stop moving. What is them? Why aren't you guys moving? Way. No idea. Yes. Just to pick that all up, right? Listening. Mm, don't know why I didn't quite pick up all of it, but all right. All right we've got a decent bit of resources in the land harvester now. Let's get yes. some of those new tanks built. Get them into the front as quickly as possible. <coughs> Alright, so, Rosalie. Oh, yeah, let's just manually do it. I think we've got enough for three of them. So we'll, we'll do that. No, actually, we'll do two Rosalies and three Vivian twos. Is that reinforced? I forgot we've got multiple new units here. On my way. Listening. You guys are land, land vehicles, though. Listening. Land standing Listening. by. Land load standing by. Land load standing by. Land load standing by. Land load standing by. Okay, they're coming together at reasonable speed. <coughs> Yeah, my voice is yeah. better, but maybe yeah. not 100%. I'll try to keep the coughing to yeah. a minimum, but... Yeah. Can't shift-click that one, apparently. Yeah. Should just be the new tanks. Merch! Yeah. The first modern tank fleet. Because these are upgraded designs. 
listening. I don't think we're necessarily going to make it, so we might have to. Uh... Yeah, I think we've been blockaded. Okay, we're going to have to listening. bring Moving you guys up. down to back them up. I think we're going to have another yes. big tank battle. <coughs> On my way. Yes. On my way. You guys can wait there and capture that. Listening. Yeah, the radar balloon could wait on the point to keep capturing it. Yes. On my way, yes. On my way. Looks like we're gonna have to make a stand here. Yes. On my way. We'll definitely have the edge in numbers. I don't know whether we'll have it in capability. The jackal gonna cut us off. Back to not back to normal. Oh my god! You yeah. guys are going to fight that intercept that jackal. <coughs> I think you're going to have to fight that one separately. It's moved away from the main force. So, however, of course, there are rather a lot of tanks here. Speaking of which, you guys have resources, as far as I can tell. Yes. Now I know the jackal is quite nasty. I don't think one of them is going to beat this lot. I'm mostly hoping we don't take too much friendly fire, frankly. Might take a little bit of EMP damage, but... Yeah, I think we lost something there. Probably the EMP. Chris about to hit it with a pretty big missile, yep. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> that doesn't give you an idea of how dangerous some yeah. of the Steel Empire tanks can be, given how much damage that one did. It's our entire fleet, even if our designs are a little outdated. Oh, we didn't have time. Okay. Oh, uh, no, we can still bring him in. Gonna carry it from a distance, but. Yes. Heavies, yes. heavies and missile carriers to the back, yes. as is tradition. Yes. Yes. I think it's most of what's left here at yes. this point, frankly. Yes. Remember, to the front. Yes. Yes. Listening. Angie's to there, they've got resources. Yes, excellent. Yes. Listening. Wait, which of the enemy tanks are actually getting involved here? <coughs> I forgot to actually check. I was going to make sure they're all in. How many of them are there? Oh, okay, there is a fair few. So we've got our main group here, we've got reinforcements somewhere. Oh no, that's the reinforcements group. This is the new, this is the, the group that's in the fight already. Okay, so the reinforcements aren't too far off. Have they got some helicopters there? Is that the drones? <coughs> Probably the drones, I'd guess. Good news is if we can get past this, I think we've actually cleared a lot of what they've got moving around and causing us problems. Don't know how big an issue the helicopters are gonna be. I like how they've decked them. Very nice looking. What else have we got here? We got that a hexer? The hexer, okay, so we've got the spray gun. Helicopters, another jackal, we know what those do. This thing? Scarab? Scarab. They're conventional gun tank. I don't really know what our priority target is, so I think we're just going to let our tanks get on with it. <coughs> Maybe the Scarab, but it looks like they've already targeted that. Oh, one of the helicopters is dead. That might actually have been an Angie shooting that, I think. 
wouldn't be at all surprised if the Angie just shot it and plinked out the AI of its um, particle cannon. One of them looks like it's damaged and crashing though. The other one is flying very high. I do, not that it's not entirely working. It is doing a good job evading some stuff. You're a big Sam. Who's got two damage all the way over there? Is that one of our tanks? I'm going to guess it's a collision or something. One of the Andes has flipped, but <coughs> continuing to act as a gun turret. We'll take it. Another heli is down. Yeah, looks like the helicopters are not too much of an issue. It really is the ground tanks. Have some long range missiles for the Chris. Go after that Jackal, maybe? Nothing's about to happen there for that Angie. Ugh. Interceptors coming in, but I don't think they're going to stop all of them, by the look of it. Seeing something being beaten up over there. I'd hard to tell what's going on when the battle's this big. Like, how did this Mobica get here? And where's my mouse cursor gone? Hmm. If it had no mouse cursor on the map, that's interesting. I've not seen that many red marks. I think we have got a lot of them. The Chris's missiles just idling past the interceptors somehow. I know it did get them. We got one of them. <coughs> Come on, get that little missile buggy. Not sure why that one turned like it did, but. Looks like it jinked at the last second. Although, I don't know whether it'll actually save it or not. <coughs> oh dear. It looks like they're actually going to come back around for another pass. Oh, and then get donked by their own missiles. Ah, oh, come on, I thought it was going to hit the wheel. Yeah, just mostly trying to get a good idea of what's happening in this battle. I think the wheelie boy's about to take a big barrage. I don't think that did it any favours. Oh, is that one going to hit? <coughs> nope. The Angies are still fighting, or at least some of them are. There's my mouse cursor back again. Don't know why we lost it. What do we probably won't kill most? Probably like the conventional gun. Coming. Jesus Christ. Why does the voice overlap for every tank? <laughs> why do they do that? It's so loud. Man, a repair bill for this fight's gonna be expensive. For both sides, probably. Oh my god, are you kidding me with that? I think something lost a particle cannon. I don't know if that was one of ours or theirs, but... Probably one of ours, I guess, but...
Looks like the Chris's were listening about the uh, target change at least. Come on. Mash it up. Hey, I think that got something. <coughs> yeah, I think that blood is gone. Hooray! Excellent shot. Come on, hit that thing too. Yeah, there we go. Put two of those missiles to the wheel. How is it still going? What are the tyres on this thing? Missile buggy. Look at the hex are just spraying over there and missing. Good word, me. Missing most of them. Are these like old Chris's that don't have the second fin? But yeah, I think they are actually, that's why they're missing. Annoying. Remember to check some of the units for a retrofitting and not those. Annoying because their ones are literally just a case of change the components. Hey, that was a good hit. That knocked something important off. Hey, finally got it. Yeah, overwhelming numbers winning through. I think it's just a scarab now, right? Again, we might not have quality, but we certainly have quantity. We haven't even got our new vehicles in yet. <laughs> See Momica's plinking it. <laughs> They're doing their best. I think it's this thing volume limit wise. Hmm. Might just be in. But this is probably what we should have tested our Rosalie against. <coughs> so I reckon we'll probably be okay. Here to have a work particle cannon. Yes. That. <laughs> yeah, where you're running, I reactivated it right just for you. Oh, the ash is trying to shell it. Oh, but actually, you could do it. I can see those shots. Go try and hit it. Thank you. 
like specifically after this fight go and refit them all. I reckon if they'd been working this would have been a much easier fight. Also I'm pretty sure even if they did win this fight the crew of that tank would be permanently deaf at this point. But the shit never thinks hitting them anyway. What's inside this tank's armor anyway? Oh, there is? Okay, so there is armor behind. There is shells behind there. It's a bit crazy about a reinforcement on that turret. That's why the Chris's need retrofitting. They do get a hit, the damage is okay, it's just they don't get hits. Hooray! We have, I think, with that, broken their counter offensive, even if we've taken some losses. <coughs> that, but there's now our territory. Right. I've gone limp back Moving to this out. point. Yes. I still move. On my way. Yes. On my way. Yes. On my way. One Vivian left from that force. Oh dear, right. Yes. Where are the Chris's? I think destroy a Chris. That one is the newest. That one is the newest. Okay, so for the first combined fleet, it's all good. Yes. Because they're newer models. You two. Apparently, you're at the newest. Don't tell me I didn't save the new missiles. Yes. Well, that they're still terrible. Listening. Yes. The swarm will fix them. Repair fleet is just yes. up there. We've still got lots of commodities, as long as we advance carefully. We can probably try and push into that base now. What have they got? Trades? Don't know how bad that is, but we could probably give it a try at taking that on. Oh. Whoa. Uh, they're going to need some help. Uh, the Angies aren't fast enough, I don't think. That's the modern tank fleet going yes. on. <coughs> Nearly done. Waiting on some repairs for the Rose League. Okay. Yeah, you know, don't worry about it. We'll we'll pull out of that. It might be too late anyway, but we'll try and pull out of that. I think it's gonna be too late. Yes. Oh, wait, no, that's the repair fleet. They can fight. Okay. Let's. You guys got resources this time? Yes. Yeah. Going to give you a few extra resources because we know this lot have had problems yes. before. Please do not. Oh, wait, no, this is two Marga 2s? Oh, no, I shouldn't have given them the resources. Oh, okay, no, they need help. Listening. We have to try Moving and get out. up there. We have to try and get up there and save them. Sorry, I thought that was the, um, the Hilda. Where is the Hilda? Yes. Down here, is it? Listening, listening. Oh wait, hang on, was that a f we got a military force there? Listening. Oh, what the heck? <coughs> oh, they're, are they all destroyed? There's the repair fleet. Yeah, get up there, you're needed. <laughs> on my way. You're going to be needed. Yeah, you guys got resources. Okay. Right, we'll, we'll pause, don't we? Four meters a second. How can be so slow? Oh, you haven't got resources. Okay. Is that why? Because you... Oh, is that why it hasn't been working? Because it hasn't been set to keep any? Hang on. Hang on. So, Hilda. Is that up to it? It's not underground. 
by these forces. Did missing an armor plate? When did that happen? Oh, probably for the damage it's taken so far. Up to some kind of speed, anyway. Listening. <clears throat> okay, it looks like the Andes have gotten there in time and are getting repairs off of the uh, repair fleet. We'll leave the repair fleet in that fight because they've clearly been ambushed. We'll see if the Andes can destroy the uh, Scorn Swarm. Moving out. It's the good news about coming to the aid of the repair seat. fleet, though, they can fix you up. I think it's fair that they're in this fight, yes. although I am going to have them be running away. <laughs> yes. Three Angies, I believe, right? Listening. Where's the other one? There. Okay. Oh, they've got a mothership of some sort. Man, how many missiles can these guys vomit out? And lots of this thing. Okay, so this is not going to coordinate it, right? Engaging oh, now. Oh, they can vomit out a lot of missiles, but it doesn't look like they're that high quality necessarily. Those might be, though. Oh, good EMP, my favourite. Yeah, bring that thing down immediately. <coughs> Really chasing that Angie, but I think it's fast enough. That it's not really getting hit much. Of course, we're near enough to friendly territory now that our repair systems are actually working again, so our vehicle's defences are way up. It can actually take a few light hits and just repair the damage. It's <laughs> straight through the gaps. It's an interesting little repair vehicle. It's just called the Squad Swarm. I guess it's just the mothership for it, but. Do we even be targeting that, or should we be targeting the combat drones? Doesn't matter. Got a lucky hit to the back and killed the AI. Right. Well, lucky hit. Aimed shot, clearly. In theory, yeah, the Andy should be very good against light drones like this if it can get hits on them. This particle cannon is basically hit scan. Oh, it's taking damage. One of them's crashing, I think. Are you gonna crash? Yeah. Oh, we lost one entirely with that. That's less good. This is still a dangerous battle, clearly, but yeah, the Angies, I reckon, have got the advantage. They get a good hit on those things, they explode. Plus, they're flying close to their altitude limit, while the Angies aren't too bothered about that at all. One being chased okay, it's not firing. There we go. A little bit of manual targeting. It's, firing, it's flying at like an awkward angle where we can't hit it. That's what's going on here. Where's the other one? Listening. You're going to have to target it. That's all like it. Well, now it hits it. Kind of out of range of the one that could do the most damage to it. Listening. Hang on, let's see if we can. Uh... Right. 
Control doors, moving out. Let's do a bit of a rapid course change. No back to auto. Control. Oh, has it crashed? Oh no! I've lost two of them. It's a piddly little drone, that's really bad actually. Oh, another Angie, shoot it now. Where's the other one? Yeah. Lost two of them. Lost the Nagas. Oh no, don't tell me we've actually lost this thing. No, we've still got an Angie up, right? We had three of them. Oh, what a shame, he took some damage. What the heck is this? Oh, it's a seam. A seam in the terrain. Okay, he's clearly out of control. Come on, game. Don't you have an automatic countermeasure for killing vehicles that are maneuvering like this? No idea what that Angie's firing at, but it's probably because it's moving so incredibly erratically at this point. I'll get sent to mass as best you can. Don't tell me this last one is going to shoot down all three Angie's, that stink. Come on. What is this one made of that's so much tougher than the others? The other one's exploded in a single good hit. There we go. Well, it's not over. What's even left? I think it growled. There's one at ground level that's still firing. Oh. Yeah. Had a face planted into the dirt, but he can apparently still fight. Fortunately, he can't move, so. Uh, yeah, we're going to down him. There we go. Right. Took bigger losses than we should have there, but... Moving out. Yes? On my way. It is, is with a lot of salvage, so... Listening. Yes? Yes? On my way. I have to move him up there to grab that salvage. Yes. Listening. I'm not sure they'll be able to actually. Right, there's more of them coming in from the north. Yes. Let's spare any of you lot. On yes. my way. Yes. Send two of the most damaged forces way. up there to get repaired as well. <coughs> Okay, however, I think that's it for the episode. We're a bit out of time, so... Yes. Let's look at the modern tank fleet deployed up there. On my way. So, I'll call that there. Hopefully you've all enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.